Hey everyone, so I'm back in my dorm as you can see and I'm here to bring you an empties video So I haven't done one of these in a very long time like a super super long time But I was looking through my makeup collection trying to Test out some of my products that I haven't picked up in a while and I realized that a couple of them were actually empty So I'm just gonna go through them give really fast reviews and tell you whether I would repurchase them So my first product is this Maybelline baby skin and I haven't really been into the like face primer trend. I prime my eyes every day, but I feel like my skin isn't so oily to the point where I need primer on a daily basis, and so if I don't have to have it, I don't use it because I don't really have a ton of time every day to just put on makeup. So, um, but I did try this baby skin because everyone and their mother was talking about this. I thought it had such cute packaging, and it was drugstore, obviously. Not a lot of drugstore face primers were out, so I figured I would try this, um, and it is... It's supposed to be an instant pore eraser and I w had this like period like last year or something where like I was really obsessed with I thought that my pores were actually gigantic because I got this like super magnified mirror and I don't know if you've ever used any of those mirrors that magnify your face like a hundred times but you start getting really self-conscious about every little thing on your face and I thought my pores were like this big so I wanted something to erase them and I was desperate and I picked this up I actually really like it I think that it kind of blurs pores, yes, and it also provides a nice silicone base for underneath foundation. So if you find it hard to keep your foundation lasting for whatever reason, whether it's your skin type or if you're using a drugstore foundation that isn't the best, I feel like using this underneath it would instantly make it better. Most likely I won't get another one but just because I don't really have time to use it, but if I'm ever in the market for a face primer, I would definitely consider this again especially in the winter months but this product is the l'oreal true match lumi foundation and judging by like the packaging right now it probably looks like i have a ton in here but i cannot squeeze out any more so i don't i've been using this for a long ass time i don't even know like at least six months and i know people on youtube are like oh yeah i use a new foundation like every two months and i'm just like girl how like, I feel like I put on a decent amount of foundation on a daily basis, and I still don't get through it for a long time. But this stuff was good. Um, I heard that this uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi was being kind of, it was being praised for having a very large skin tone variety, which is good because I was looking in the drugstore, like, in the drugstore um, foundations for darker skin people, like, I'm not talking Latina people, I'm talking darker skinned people, and I don't find anything ever. And I'm just like, what the, like, what the hell do you want them to do? Like, spend $70 for a foundation, but you can have 50 shades that say alabaster? No. Drugstore makeup has got to change. But, uh, L'Oreal's pretty good at providing for different skin tones. It still might not be the best. But it's more than a lot, so if you're looking for something like that, then I would highly suggest this. This stuff is good. Um, it is luminous. It does give you kind of a dewy finish. Depending on whether that's what you want, then, you know, there's this option. My only thing is that it kind of... And maybe this is because I got the neutral one, too. Um, so it was a little orangey, but it ended up oxidizing and being okay. It was just kind of dark-ish and orangey-ish and even this is like the lightest shade and it's still kind of dark. I probably wouldn't repurchase this just because my Holy Grail foundation is my CoverGirl 3-in-1, the Outlast a Fabulous line, and I have one of those that I'm using right now, so honestly I'd probably just stick to that. My last product is this Bare Mineral Stroke of Light um, Eye Brightener. It's kind of a concealer highlight. And this is like the first high-end concealer I've ever tried. And it was really nice for a while um, because I felt like it was a peachy tone that matched my skin. And so it worked really well under the eyes because it was so like, it was a fluid that was tacky and dried well and had good coverage and didn't crease a lot. Now, the only reason why I wouldn't repurchase this is because recently I've been jumping on the, like, banana powder, banana color type trend for under here, and I've been using either a neutral or a yellowy tone one, because I think putting a little bit of, even just a little bit of peach or pink under here can kind of accentuate the redness, which I have a terrible problem with redness under my eyes, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this. If you are, however, in the market for a good under eye concealer and you don't mind 
whether it's peachy toned or yellow toned or whatever the hell, then I would definitely suggest this. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Sorry if it was a little short, but um, I will be back with videos very soon. I'm going to be doing a get it ready with me soon for when I go out this weekend. So I'm going to be filming that and I hope you guys stay tuned for that video. <laughs> it's not the we're finding joy in your pain. We just find it so interesting that we have to share it with the world. And I am finding joy in your pain.